We talk a lot in our college about the new engineer. Technically excellent, but capable of leading and innovating in a world which is increasingly interdisciplinary and global. Sachio Somoto is an example of the new engineer. Once I really had gotten to know Sachio and Francis and felt like they trusted me, I, I had the courage to ask Sachio how he had the courage to go against Japanese business tradition and leave the National Telephone Company in Japan, start his own company. He said that he got the idea while he was here studying that did changed his mindset about business and how to do business in Japan. He had a vision and he was able to make that vision become a reality through a great deal of hard work and intelligence. Oh, I was totally untraditional, stupid, <laughs> and 99.9% uh, .9 of the people, they laughed and uh, they said, that you are not going to win. But I have uh, very strong confidence uh, from the day one. Sachio is one of the most entrepreneurial, visionary individuals I have ever met. He is incredibly smart, but he is also an incredibly intellectually curious individual. And I think that's one of the reasons why he's been able to stay at the forefront of technology for so long. Looking at innovations going forward, what's the hot new thing, what topics to move into. And he showed through his, his career uh, this ability to, to know what the next big thing is and start moving to it before everybody else does. So it was natural for us to ask him a few years ago, what's going to be the next big thing? Where should we be focusing our attention? And Satya immediately said, Internet of Things. And encouraged us to begin to develop educational and research programs around that thematic area. To support this, he gave us the resources to create the Samoto professorship who would lead this initiative. Dr. Samoto is a role model, is a pioneer for every student in UF. But as an international student, I personally felt that the way he utilized his knowledge and uh, his qualities which he gained from UF after going back to his country teaches us how we can also help our nation in prospering in science and technology sectors. One of Satya's great characteristics is that his activities tend to bring people together and his gifts to our college are a perfect example of that. Bringing faculty from different disciplines together, bringing students from different cultures together and creating the kind of vibrant intellectual entrepreneurial environment that Satyo has created in his own companies.